Hey everybody, we're gonna give you a market update for Cherokee County right here in Georgia. Um, it's also gonna include Cobb County and some of the other surrounding counties that we have. This is for April of 2021. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button. I've got lots of information on our channel that we just love to uh, pour information to everybody. So make sure you subscribe first. Okay, here it is. We are in May of 2021. We're gonna look back and see what's been going on up to this year, up to date, of what's going on in the local market right here in Cherokee County. This also includes Cobb County, but if you've been listening to me for a while, I always do numbers for Cherokee. Cobb County kind of mirrors exactly what we're doing here in Cherokee, so it's all the same. So here's the story, right? And I'm gonna try to explain to you what's going on in the market instead of giving you a bunch of updates and stuff. If you've been paying attention, you know that you've probably already heard that it's a seller's market, right? Well, let me kind of explain to you what's going on. Because I think there's a misconception out there that there's there's no houses, right? Nobody's selling their house because they can't find a new one. That's not necessarily true. We have plenty of homes that are coming on the market. They're just selling quicker than they typically would. And let me kind of explain to you what's going on. So this is a healthy market. This is like a bucket of water. Just think of inventory as like uh, water inside of a bucket. So in a healthy market, this is kind of the scenario that we have. The inventory is at a certain level. It's pretty healthy. And you have new houses going into the bucket. And then you have sold properties going out of the bucket. So once again, everybody thinks that we don't have any houses to sell or we don't have any new listings. So let me kind of share with you what's happened over the last couple of years. So in 2019, we had 1,879 new homes come on the market within the first three months of the year. Uh, in 2021, as goofy of a year as that was, we had 1,780 coming in. In 2021, we've had 1,756. So that's pretty even. It's basically the same. We have the same amount of houses going into the market as we, we did in the last two years. Closed sales for those three years. In 2019, we had 1,160 leaving. In 2020, we had 1,148 leaving. And so far this year, we've had 1,132 leaving. So once again, very balanced over the last three years. So what has happened? Well, there's a lot of different things that have happened over the last 12 to 16 months that have depleted this inventory. And that's gonna be a whole other video. We're not gonna talk about that, but just understand that what we typically have is six months worth of inventory, or in our diagram, six months worth of water in our bucket. We're down to like, uh, like nothing. Our bucket is dry. So what happens is, as soon as a new house gets in, it barely gets in the bucket and bam, it jumps right back out because there's no inventory in there in a typical market. So here's the story. Here's what's going on. This is what you need to know. Still a great time to sell. It's a good time to buy. We have houses coming into the market. They're just jumping out before they really get into the, the pool of the other inventory. In a healthy market, most agents that you're working with, they work right here. They're in the inventory. They're in the water. So what happens is a new house comes on the market you probably see it on one of the popular sites, Zillow or Realtor.com, or if you're with a KW agent, you're using the KW app. And you see it, you call your agent, and you say, hey, this new house is on the market, I wanna go see it. You go see it, and you end up buying it. So what's happening, though, is today, it doesn't even get into the bucket, and it's already gone, right? So your new agent that you're gonna be working with, they gotta get out of the inventory, they need to be working right here. They need to be communicating with people and they need to be communicating with other agents to find out what is going to be coming on the market because you want to have a leg up before that home gets inside the bucket because it's once again, once it gets even close to being in here, it's going to bounce right back out. So that's kind of an analogy of what's going on in the market. The key that I want you to take away from is if you're looking to sell or buy, Make sure you got an agent that understands what's going on in the market and they're ready, willing, and able to work over here instead of inside the inventory. 
If you've got a traditional agent that's just waiting for houses to come on the market, you're going to be very frustrated. So hopefully that helps explain to you what's going on uh, in the market. So don't be fooled. Don't think that there's no new houses coming on the market and you're never going to be able to move. You just got to have the right agent to be able to work for you and get in front of these folks before that inventory actually gets in that bucket. So hopefully that helps out. Thanks for listening. Um, if you have any other questions about the market or housing or how we work here at Towns and Realty Group, uh, right here in Cherokee County and Cobb County and the surrounding areas, reach out to us. We'd love to have that conversation with you. Until then, everybody have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.